This is Maggie Griffin, John Bantam, Special Agents from the FBI. Thank you for having us. We're looking forward to working with you. All right. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. FBI has matched the DNA from the dead body with Peter Crabb, the missing American. Which means that Godwin is still out there, probably somewhere nearby. Perhaps you could walk us through what you've done so far. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sorry, I have to go. Uh, my husband has got held up at work and kindergarten is about to close. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. But shouldn't these guys be briefing us? I mean, who's this guy? What the fuck is he doing in Norway? <clears throat> uh, Robert Godwin is wanted for six murders in the US. Now we believe he could be guilty of at least 11 more. So why flee to a remote place like this, like Bloodbeck? Uh, well, we've always considered Norway as a possibility. We just never had a solid enough lead to act on. And why was Norway a possibility? Well, Godwin had Norwegian ancestors. As is the case with 20% of population in Minnesota. Look, Godwin, he was into it. He studied the language and he even gave lectures in Norwegian culture. Now, we believe that he speaks your language fluently. And of course, he would have perfected it over the years. But still, to live here, he would need a different identity. If he's been here the whole time, we think he's probably become a caveman. Yeah, sure. Well, Norway is not the center of the universe, but we're not Neanderthals. I'm sorry? We're not cavemen, you know, with long beards and wild, hunting wild animals and <laughs> making sounds and uh, hunting women with... Caveman is what we call someone who takes over someone else's life. But how can you take over someone's life? Well, you identify your victim get to know him, perhaps even become his friend. You study him and his behavior up close until you know enough. And only then, you kill him. Wear his life like a suit. We've known several cases over the years. These are extremely dedicated individuals. So where does Peter Crabb come into this? Crabb taught at the same college that Godwin did before Godwin disappeared. We think that Crabb has been following Godwin for years obsessively. So you think Crabb found Godwin and was killed? Yeah. But the hair in his hand was female? Crabb had several strands of hair as if he had um, pulled well, the... We should expect a drastic change of appearance. Perhaps the hair that you found came from a wig. Most high-quality wigs come from female human hair. <laughs> 